So after we created this breakout towards the upside, we were looking for new patterns to be created. And yes, indeed, yesterday we started creating this bull flag. But in the end of the day, I'm going to be talking about how this bull flag pattern will likely trap a lot of Bitcoin traders because most likely this bull flag pattern will just be a trap. So without further ado, can we once again smash the likes up above the 20 likes? And without further ado, let's jump right into the analysis. So right here on the day daily time frame we can still be seeing that we are still touching our resistance area and well at the same time of course we are getting our bull flag breakout right now actually but i mean we can still very easily readjust our bull flag right here and in this scenario well we still might not be getting our breakout and this happens very very often with these bull flag scenarios for example one good scenario is right over here we also created some kind of a bull flag pattern right here here. yes we did see our breakout but in the end of the day well did we reach our targets right here no we did not reach our targets and this happens very very often for the bitcoin price we start developing some kind of a pattern in the very short term but then we kind of ignore the pattern or then we ignore the targets of the pattern and we start developing another pattern so in that kind of scenario we might be looking into what's maybe a symmetrical triangle right here being developed for the longer term i just don't see right now this bull flag breaking out and actually reaching its targets all the way towards the 32k level all right it would be possible if we are going to be breaking this resistance level right here but i just do not see it happening just right now because of our momentum indicators we are going to be talking about a little bit later in this video so in the coming few days i do think it is going to be more likely that we are actually going to be seeing some kind of dump happening instead of breaking this resistance level right here so let's get exactly in the reasoning of why a dump is more likely actually than this breakout towards the upside of this bull flag right here first of all on the weekly time frame well we are still touching major major resistance and and i know a lot of you all all think that we have actually already broken this resistance right here and yes indeed on the three day time frame right here maybe we have already broken this resistance but in my opinion if we have a look in towards the weekly time frame right here we are still trading in towards this resistance range right here and i have also drawn these levels on the three day time frame right here and yes in the end of the day we might be coming all the way towards the 32k level which will also be the target of this bull flag scenario but i just do not think it is going to be very likely that we are going to be reaching numbers that high right here in the end of the day because we are having this major resistance level right here now if we are going to be breaking this one yes 32k is going to be our next target and from of that moment i will definitely be able to play some kind of a trade to be trading that towards the 32k level but a dump right here would actually be way more likely because having a look into our money flow index first of all what you can be seeing is that previously around right here we created this bearish divergence and right now what you can be seeing is we are also starting to be creating this bearish divergence so actually you can be seeing a lot of similarities right now happening from of this pattern right here and from of this one right here. first of all what you can be seeing is that right here we created some kind of a round in the top that right after we saw this pump happening from off where in the short term right here we also created some kind of round in the top just a bit above this level right here and once we broke this support level right here then we saw this very big dump happening actually and right now in the short term we are creating the same exact market structure we are creating some kind of a round in the top right here we did see this pump right after happening right here and in the very short term we are also consolidating and both of the times we of course created this money flow index bearish divergence so well in this scenario we could very well also see this dump happening that we did create over here and on the three day time frame as well still having a look in towards our money flow index you can see that on the three day time frame we are also starting to create this bearish divergence which if you want to be having a look in towards the power of this money flow index well right here we started actually creating this bullish divergence and that has marked the bear market bottom right here so in the end of the day well you should not ignore this indicator right here of this bearish divergence that we are currently making and having a look in towards the daily time frame on the macd indicator as well we are also starting to create this bearish divergence 
just like we did over here and right now once again momentum is going to be turning towards the downside because of this bearish divergence that just got created and also on the three day time frame as well having still a look into our macd indicator well we are also creating this macd bearish divergence which is definitely indicating that momentum is about to slow down and then also in our 12 hourly candles right here having a look into our rsi indicator we are also creating some kind of a bearish divergence right here in the very short term as well and right now in the very short term because of this push towards the upside right here that we did create we might be creating some kind of a bearish divergence on the four hourly candles or even on the two hourly candles right here a great possibility as well or maybe also even on this one hourly candle so that is something to keep in mind all right and if we are going to be creating some kind of a weakening market structure on the four hourly time frame well, then in the end of the day, it is all going to be indicating that we are actually going to be seeing some cool off in the Bitcoin price action right here. So yeah, all pretty much indicating that we are actually going to be seeing some kind of a rejection coming in from of this level right here. And in the case that we are actually going to be getting some kind of a rejection, well, then I'm going to be starting to look in towards this range back again for maybe some long positions from of that level once again, or maybe even looking in towards our CME gap getting filled all the way back towards the 28K level. So yeah, this is currently my game plan i do not think it is a very good idea to be trading this bull flag right here but if you do want to be staying up to date about every single market development be sure to be following me on twitter and guys with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning and guys bye bye